Hello there, I have here another example problem regarding tests of significance. So let's just get started. Most drinking water treatment plants in Canada use chlorine as a disinfectant. The use of chlorine in the treatment of drinking water has virtually eliminated waterborne diseases because chlorine can kill or inactivate most microorganisms commonly found in the water. Ingestion of large amounts of chlorine can however be dangerous. This, a city's drinking water is considered safe as long as the mean chlorine level is 4.1 mg per liter or lower. Chlorine levels in one city are known to follow a normal distribution with standard deviation 0.69 mg per liter. A water quality inspector measures the chlorine content in 10 samples of drinking water collected at random locations in the city. The mean chlorine level in these samples is calculated to be 4.42 mg per liter. We would like to conduct a hypothesis test at the 5% level of significance to determine whether there is evidence that the city's drinking water is not safe. Okay, so let's just identify some of the data we're given here so that we can actually answer this question. We can quickly identify the null hypothesis as being 4 decimal 1. Therefore, we can state the null hypothesis, the one we're going to be testing, because we want to know if the chlorine level is greater than this, greater than 4 decimal 1. Therefore, that's going to be called the null hypothesis. That's, that is how it's defined. The next thing we know is the standard deviation. The standard deviation of the population is given as being 0.69. We know our sample size. The sample size taken for the test was 10. We can also determine the, stand, the sample mean of the sample size, which is denoted as being x bar. That, so the value is 4.42. And this is all the data we're going to be needing. The 5% level of significance part is going to be coming in, in in action at the end of the question. Now this is the formula we're going to be using to get a z-score. The first step we're going to be having is getting the z-score. The z-score is going to give us a sum proportion that we can match to this level of significance to determine if it's actually statistically significant. If it is, then we can say that the water level is not safe. But that part comes later. Let's just get started with this. We're going to be needing the x-bar, subtract the null hypothesis, so the null hypothesis, divided by the standard deviation of the sample. You can, this can be calculated by doing the standard deviation of the population divided by the square root of n. n is the sample size. So n is the sample size. This is the standard deviation of population. This is the sample's mean, or the, yes, the sample's mean. This is the mean of the population or the thing that's being tested. All of this will give you a z-score or a z-value that we, we can actually use to answer the question. It's just a matter of plugging in the data now. Let me just remove this. Now we know that the sample mean is 4.42. We're going to be subtracting it by the null hypothesis. That is 4.1. 4.1 divided by the, stem, the standard deviation of the sample. So we, that can be calculated by doing that of the population. The standard deviation of the population divided by the square root of the sample size. That was given as being 10. And this will give us our z-score. I got a value of 1.47. The next thing we're going to be doing now that we have our z-score is going to the standard normal probability table to get our associated proportion. Here is my table, the standard normal probability table. We are looking for the value 1 decimal 4 7. Here is 1 decimal 4 towards the left. We go all the way horizontally until we reach 7 which is directly above us as you can see here. Looking at where the intersection is gives us our probability, the proportion that's towards the left of our z-score. We have the proportion as equaling 9292 or 0 decimal 9292. When going back over here we have 0 decimal 9292. Allow me to just clear up some space here. Now this is the proportion we just found that would be towards the left of what we're getting. However, what we are testing here is to, to determine if we're getting more chlorine or if the average chlorine intake is more than the, the one stated, the null hypothesis. We're testing if we're getting more than 4.1 chlorine amount in the drinking water. Therefore, because the z-score in the table is always giving you something towards the left or less than, we are going to have to do one subtract this to get the actual proportion we're going to be using to match towards towards the, the level of significance here. This gives me a value of 0 0.0708. And this is the conclusion of all the calculation parts. Now it's just a qualitative analysis. Looking at the looking at, at the question itself, it's stating we would like to conduct a hypothesis test at the 5% level of significance. 5% is 0 0.05. 
And using this knowledge, we were, since we're doing a 5% level of significance, and we got our probability of as being this, we'd have to notice that this value here is greater than the level of significance. And because that is the case, we can say that this value right here is not statistically significant. And whenever that is not the case, or rather I should say, whenever something is not statistically significant, that means we do not have enough evidence to suggest that the water is poisoned by too much chlorine. Or in this case, we, that our average chlorine level is greater than 4.1. But, but anyways, that is how you would answer this question. And as you can see, that is the answer over here. The Z value we used, I, as if you can recall, was 1.47. So that is also the answer to this one right here. Looking down a bit, we can see the answer to question D was the one we were just talking about. We, can, we failed to reject the null hypothesis because there is insufficient evidence that the water is unsafe. That is the conclusion to this video. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comment section below. I will, I will answer your questions, and I hope you are having a nice day.